Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the ASUS X99A motherboard. So this has everything that you could possibly need to build an Intel Extreme system in a motherboard. Um, it does use the LGA 2011 V3 slot, which is not compatible with the 2011 slot. So keep that in mind. If you have an existing 2011 slot, it's not going to work with that. You're going to need to buy a new chip. It does is first platform to support DDR4, so you get DDR4 support, and it also supports three-way SLI and three-way crossfire on it. It does have a Gigi Plus BRM and support for up to um, six USB 3.0 ports and eight SATA slots. It also has crystal sound with eight channel audio support. So let's take a closer look at the board itself. I'll show you in a little bit more detail what it's got on it and where it's located on the motherboard. And then I'll also show you the accessories and the benchmarks for the board. High Tech Legion, hardware and software reviews. Gaming, gadgets, and mobile. Plus, a ton of opinions. Subscribe now. So here we have a closer look at the X99A board from ASUS. As you can see, it is a pretty board with um, white accents on it. Right on the back panel here, let's start with that. We have our BIOS flashback button, as well as four USB 2.0 ports, a combination PS2 slot, Intel Gigabit LAN, six USB 3.0 slots, as well as five connectors for your audio, which for your eight channel audio and optical SPDIF. You have a gold line here that runs along the board here that separates the sound circuitry to help avoid EMI interference and distortion with the Crystal Sound 2. You've got four PCI X16 slots on this board with support for three-way SLI and three-way crossfire. You have a Thunderbolt connector here, so it is Thunderbolt ready. Two PCI Express 1 slots. M.2 with support for multiple lengths right here as well as your audio connector, a COM port connector, power switch, reset switch, and LED indicators above them. You have your diagnostic panel here, a TPM module connector if you need to use that, USB 3.0 connector, two USB 2 connectors, your front panel, chassis fan here, two chassis fans here, four slots for the DDR4 on either side of the um, processor, the LGA 2011-3 slot. So you definitely need that, that type of connector. And you have another USB 3.0 connector here, another chassis fan, your 24 pin power connector, your Digi VRM is under these nice white heat sinks which they do have a little bit of plastic covering on them to keep them from getting scratched in shipping. So you could peel that off and that will make them look even nicer. You have two CPU fans here, CPU fan and CPU optional fan, as well as an eight pin power connector right here, right behind the power VRM. In the top right corner, you have your memory, top left corner, excuse me, uh, you have your memory OK button with DRAM LED. If we flip this around this way, you can see that we've got six SATA slots here and two more SATA slots here as well as support for SATA Express. So you got a lot of options here with this X99 platform and if you're looking to build an extreme system then the X99A motherboard would definitely be a decent choice for you. Um, I certainly wouldn't mind it, mind using this board in my system, and as you'll see from the benchmarks in a little bit, it works very well. I have a household where my router and everything is near my machine, so I don't need a Wi-Fi module. But as I mentioned earlier, if you need a Wi-Fi module, or if you're looking for those extra accessories, then you're definitely going to want to take a look at the X99 Pro board, which you'll also see a review for. But now, let's take a look at the accessories, and then I will show you the benchmarks. So what you get for accessories is a set of SATA cables. Um, you can see that one of them is straight on both sides, and one of them has a 90 degree angle on one end. 
you get a second set of SATA cables. Same deal, one straight, one with a 90 degree angle. You have your IO shield, of course. You get a nice long NVIDIA SLI bridge. Q connects. So this is a quick connect setup for your front panel. You can connect all your wiring from your chassis right to these first and then plug them right into the board. Really nice, especially if you're one of those people like me who's ended up taking out your machine, taking out your motherboard out of your system multiple times. You have this quick connect for your chassis that you can leave in place. And then of course we get a nice elaborate user guide here with lots of information in it. A sticker for your PC here in the, bo in the book and a X99 series CD which has all the drivers that you would need for it. Now that I've shown you that, now let's take a look at the benchmarks because I know that's what you're all really waiting to see how this performs. Enjoy! I hope you all enjoyed this video and as you can see from the benchmarks this performs very well and about the only thing that it's missing from its older brother is a Wi-Fi module. So if you really need Wi-Fi you're going to have to look at the X99 Pro but if you just want a basic board that can do everything that you need to do the X99A is a great choice. You know, a few less accessories and you get um, you don't get the Wi-Fi built in, but other than that, it's a beautiful board, does everything it's supposed to do. So definitely please check out the written review at www.hightechlegion.com and please subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.